Hi, welcome back to the rendering tutorial series. Um, thank you for all the nice comments. Uh, it's really helpful. Some of you mentioned that I completely forgot to talk about decals. So <laughs> um, I'll just talk about that. I'll show you how to add a decal. Um, there's two ways to do it. There's an easy way and there's a better way. Um, <laughs> I'll show you both ways. Uh, so let's hop right into Blender. Uh, now first of all, let's just enable an add-on. So we could edit preferences, add-ons, and search images as planes. Um, and then just tick that one. And we'll just save our preferences. I'm just going to switch back to the layout tab. Just so I can get a nice full screen view. Right, so if I go into material preview mode, you can see we've colored the car, we've got the floor plane there. Um, and we just got to add our textures. So since we just enabled that add-on, if you press Shift A to add, go under Image and Images as Planes, you can just select an image. There we go. And it's way too huge, so we're just going to press S to scale and scale it down. Cool. And we'll just uh, use all the movement and rotation tools. So G to move again. I press Z to just go up vertically. Rotate as well. Rotate on the y axis 90 degrees. So type in 90, and that needs to rotate 180 degrees. So press R, Z, lock it to the Z axis, and 180. And boom, that should be alright. I'll just move it G and X to lock it to the X axis. Right on top. Now I can just plant this right on top and not all bat an eye. Um, or what I can do is use the uh, modifier properties. If I click on this plane here and just add a modifier and go to shrink wrap, which is right there. Perfect. Um, and just for the target, we'll just use the eyedropper and just click on the car body. And there you go, that puts it on the car body. And we're getting this weird effect. That's basically because it's completely like flat on the plane, so it's completely in line. We'll just add a little bit of offset just so it doesn't do that. Um, so uh, what I did just there, sorry, I'm skipping steps. Um, what I did there was just click on that and just hold shift um, just to give it a little bit, 0 0.004. You can type that in as well if you want to. And I'll just adjust this a little bit. Um, so obviously you can create your own stickers like I've done here. Um, but if you need your country's stickers, um, you can just go to their website. So the F1 in schools. Uh, the World Finals stickers are on the World Finals page here. Um, the REA, so the Australian stickers, are just on the uh, resources tab there. And I'm sure you can find it on your own uh, country's website as well. Oh yeah, but what you'll notice sometimes, um, if I just open this image, you can see it's a little bit of a white outline. Um, that might not be there for you, but if it is, and I've also got it on this image a little bit, you can see it's a bit of a white outline here. I'm just going to show you a quick trip, trick to get rid of that. If you go under UV editing, and you see on this left side, if you just scroll out, um, there's basically this square here. And what the square is, is this is the rectangle, I should say, um, that makes up the plane you've got here um, and this is the texture that's assigned to it um, and so essentially what you're doing is you're fitting this texture inside of this box um, now if I were to press A to select all and if I just show you if I switch this side to material preview if I were to scale this you can see it's fitting it inside of the box um, so it's going to be smaller inside of the box if I scale it larger and if I scale it smaller it's going to expand it a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to undo what I did. I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit. So hold shift just to do it a little bit, just so I get rid of that white edge. And you can see it's clear now on the edge. Yeah, so I'm just going to switch back to the shading tab. Um, and what I'm going to do is try to get it to match the paint of the car. Um, so all I'll do is just adjust the roughness so it looks about right. It might also need a clear coat. There we go. That's almost there. Um, now if you're having trouble because you've got this sort of uh, outline here, 
can just go up here to this show overlays button and just tick that off. Um, and I can just adjust that so that looks about right. That's about it there. And then I'll just turn it back on. Yeah, boom, so there's that one. Um, but that is on a flat surface. That's really simple, plain and simple to um, add to your car. I'll show you how to do the exact same thing for a curved surface. Um, so if I add another image, there we go, and I'll just scale it down. Um, what I did there, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but if you press G to move something and you press Shift and X, Y, or Z, uh, you're basically locking it so it only moves in the other two axes. Um, so if I press Shift Z, which is what I did here, it only moves in the X and Y axis, so it only moves horizontally. Um, which is quite nice. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place this right in front of our side pod. That's where I want to put it. And I'll just aim it to face a little bit. Okay, so what you want to do is add the modifier. We're going to do the same as the other one um, with a shrink wrap modifier. And we'll just click on the car. And what you can see that does is it goes straight through the side pod. So what it's doing is, because this vert this rectangle is only four points, it's mapping um, this point to sort of this edge here, this point to this edge here, essentially until it touches the surface. This point to this edge here, and this point to this edge here. And what that does is it hides half of the uh, geometry behind the side pod because of the curvature. Um, yeah, so what we'll do is we're going to add a, a little bit of geometry beforehand. Um, so what you can do is add a modifier, subdivision surface modifier, and just click on this little drag thing here, drag it to the top, and just convert it to simple. And we'll do maybe two subdivisions. And then we can also just adjust the offset until it's about right. Looks about good. We'll just do the same thing with the UV on this one because we've got a bit of a white border at the top here. Now, if you can't see your whole rectangle on this left side, and what you can do is on this right hand side, just press A to select all the geometry. Um, so this is in edit mode, it's selected the faces. Yeah, and just press A on the left side and we'll just scale it down a little bit. It's about perfect there. And we'll do the shading with this one as well. So we'll just add um, clear coat to this one and bring the roughness down. It's about good. I might turn the roughness up. We'll just pretend this one's a vinyl decal. And I'll just show you the last trick as well. Um, if you want to add a bit of thickness to it, because it's, let's say it's a vinyl decal, um, what you can do is add a modifier, add a solidify modifier. Now you can see that's completely messed up the smoothness. Um, so what we'll just quickly do is go down to this little green triangle here, go under normals and just tag auto smooth. That'll fix that. Also, if you didn't get that problem um, and you're wondering why it looks kind of pixelated, just right click and hit shade smooth um, with the thing selected. Yeah, and we'll just change the thickness um, so I can make it a little thicker and just change the offset until we get a depth that you like. There you go. And like I said, with just these sharp corners here as well, uh, we'll just add a quick bevel. Um, so there's another modifier called a bevel modifier. We'll just close some of these tabs because it's getting busy in here. Um, just add a little small bevel. There we go. I'll add a few more segments to it as well. I'm just noticing I'm getting some weird smoothing on the side pod as well. Um, it just looks a little bit uncanny, so what I'm going to do is just go back to this auto smooth and I might just drag it down until that sort of bad smoothing disappears. There we go, that looks a lot better. It's about how you add decals. Um, you can add them to your, to your side pods, add them to the top of the side pod. Um, it might take a little bit more effort with just the curvature of this sort of body part as well. Um, but super easy to chuck them on the wing, the side pod, on the uh, wheel caps, and on the top of the wing as well. Or the front wing, or the rear wing. Yes. Uh, yeah, so have fun with that. See you.